the oceans contain some amazing mysteries. While many of the mysteries reside deep in the depths of the oceans, there are some that are present on the surface of unexplored waters. Every year, many explorers and research teams go on expeditions to explore the vast oceans that cover around 71% of the Earth's surface. And sometimes, if they are lucky, they do find some amazing mysteries hidden in the oceans that were previously not known. Over the past couple of centuries, a number of amazing ocean phenomena, lost islands and mystifying terrains have been discovered in the ocean. Today we're going to take a look at 5 amazing ocean discoveries. Gondwana's Island Scientists recently discovered the fragments of a lost supercontinent scattered underneath the island of Mauritius. Known as Gondwana, this supercontinent broke up 140 million years ago. This megacontinent made most of the Earth's mass, and as it broke it formed the new smaller land masses of Africa, Australia, South America, the Indian subcontinent Antarctica and the Arabian Peninsula. Scientists believe that Gondwana was formed around 500 million years ago. This was the time when multicellular organisms were in their primitive state, and it remained a one single super large continent until the Jurassic period. It was covered with dense rainforests and dinosaurs roaming freely. The climate was much warmer at that time and there was no Antarctic ice sheet. Then about 140 million years ago, Gondwana started to split. The first to split away from Gondwana were the landmasses of Africa and South America. Australia and Antarctica were the last landmasses to split away from Gondwana around 45 million years ago. This entire process was extremely slow and it happened over millions of years. Even today, scientists believe the continent of Australia is slowly moving north. It's estimated Australia moves around 1.2 inches every year. Scientists are still unsure about the exact mechanisms behind the split of Gondwana. According to one theory, the various points where the magma is very close to the Earth's surface, bubbled up causing cracks in the subcontinent and eventually resulting in a split. However, a recent study by the researchers from the University of London found that Gondwana split into two tectonic plates that eventually broke apart. The discovery of Gondwana has also given new insights about the formation of the islands of Mauritius. Earlier, the scientists believed the islands were formed as a result of a huge amount of volcanic lava that formed and solidified over the surface of the sea. Researchers have said this would have happened millions of years ago. However, the discovery of the fragments of Gondwana and the fact that scientists have found some rocks and minerals that are hundreds of millions of years old has given birth to a new theory that the islands of Mauritius are in fact the remaining land segments of the island of Gondwana. Geologists are carrying out further research in order to get the real origins of the island and to know more about the supercontinent of Gondwana. River at the bottom of the Black Sea In 2010, researchers were fascinated by the discovery of a river that flows at the bottom of the Black Sea. The river flows along the seabed and it's the sixth largest river in the world. This undersea river is 115 feet deep at some places, and it carries 10 times more water than some of the biggest rivers in Europe. This undersea river shows the same characteristics as that of the river over the land, and it carves out channels just like rivers over the land do. This discovery of the river at the bottom of the Black Sea was made by using a robotic submarine. Earlier scientists had discovered many undersea channels in different parts of the oceans around the globe. They used sonar scans to find these undersea channels. However, they were not able to find any channels that had active currents of water flowing through them. The total length of the Black Sea River is around 37 miles. The water flows through it at a speed of 4 miles per hour, and around 22,000 cubic meters of water passes through it every second. According to scientists, this river under the Black Sea has highly salty water, and it carries the much needed nutrients from a nutrient-rich part of the ocean to a part that is slightly lower in nutrients. Marine biologists believe that these nutrients are necessary for the marine life to survive. 
Researchers now think there could be many other currently active undersea rivers in different parts of the ocean, and these rivers might just be serving as the arteries providing nutrients and life to the deeper parts of the ocean. Ice Finger of Death Recently by using underwater time-lapse cameras in the ocean near Antarctica, scientists discovered a mind-blowing ice phenomenon that was named the Ice Finger of Death. This was given to it because it kills all creatures that come into contact with it. Scientists were baffled by the discovery of this unique phenomenon. They couldn't have imagined that this ice would act so quickly with such a deadly force. Upon research, it was discovered that the phenomena is caused by the cold sinking brines that are denser than the sea water. When these brines come into contact with the warmer water of the sea, they form brinicles. A brinicle is a finger-like ice formation that grows under the ice that covers the surface of the sea. When this brinicle known as the finger of death touches the seabed, it forms a web-like formation along the seabed and kills everything that it comes into contact with. The starfish, the sea urchins, and other sea creatures die immediately. This mind-blowing phenomenon occurs only in specific conditions. They typically exist in the polar regions under the blocks of ice that float on the surface of the sea. The Caribbean Whistle We are all familiar with the sound of the ocean waves. It's more or less the same kind of sound that's produced by the waves in different seas around the world. The sound of the waves crashing against the beach is also quite a common sound heard by the beachgoers around the world. However, recently scientists discovered a unique sound that the Caribbean Sea makes. It's unlike any sound heard before. This sound was detected in space. The frequency of the sound is so low that it cannot be heard by the human ears. According to estimates, it's around 28 octaves lower than the lowest piano note. The scientists were able to discover this sound due to the disruptions it caused in the Earth's gravity field. Scientists believe this whistle-like sound is produced as a result of the unique combination of the air pressure and the geology of the Caribbean Sea. To be more precise, this sound is produced when the Rosby Sea interacts with the sea floor. The scientists have named this sound Rosby Whistle. The Missing Crust of Earth In 2007, Scientists discovered that a large area spanning thousands of square miles, located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, had a strange anomaly. The Earth's crust was missing in that area. Researchers found that Earth's deep interior, which is normally covered with kilometers of thick layers of crust, was exposed on the sea floor around 3,000 meters below the surface. Where did this Earth's crust go? Was it always like this? or maybe it was torn away due to some gigantic geological phenomenon. These are some of the questions that scientists have been trying to answer. One of the marine biologists described the discovery as an open wound on Earth's surface. Our entire planet is covered by a thick outer crust that is approximately 20 miles deep under the continents, and 4 miles under the floor of the ocean. Under this crust lies the middle layer known as mantle. It's very hot and relatively soft, it gets its heat from the extremely hot crust of the Earth. Scientists do know that Earth's crust constantly gets destroyed and then recreated. This entire cycle of destruction and then rebuilding occurs much faster underneath the oceans that are underneath the continents. The new ocean crust is formed at the seams on Earth's surface. These seams are known as mid-oceanic ridges, and this is where the tectonic plates of the Earth meet each other. These seams allow the molten magma to rise up from the upper mantle of the planet. The scientists believe that when the molten magma rises upwards, it causes the seafloor spreading which is actually the movement of the tectonic plates away from each other. The oceanic crust also gets destroyed when the two tectonic plates collide. Usually the denser tectonic plates slide under the thinner ones. Some scientists believe that this phenomenon is responsible for the missing crust of the Earth. However, this theory does not entirely explain the mystery of the Earth's missing crust, and most of the researchers are trying to find a better explanation. The Earth's missing crust has also given the scientists a rare opportunity to study the mantle of the Earth. Unfortunately, it's very difficult, 
nearly impossible to get to the Earth's mantle. The researchers have to carry out digging to get past the thick crust, and then get to the rocks that make up the Earth's mantle. This anomaly on one hand is a strange mystery as to no one knows where the crust disappeared, and on the other hand it's given an opportunity to study the Earth's mantle in detail. So what do you think of these five amazing ocean discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.